welcome to this wooden box of locks. Robert and I, we've made a little trade, and that's the box of locks he sent to me. You can see his YouTube channel logo here, and if you have not yet checked him out, please do so. He's a great guy and he's making very enjoyable videos, so please visit his channel. And now, uh, before I open the box, I will tell you why it's already um, opened. Because it was not sent to my address directly, but sent to the custom office, because something was not quite right with the, with the mail. So I just received a letter that I had to go there and, yeah, to, to get it by myself. And I was a little bit scared whether I would get it at all, um, because they wanted to have some documents about the actual, um, yeah, the actual value and a lot of stuff like that if you would buy something from a store. Well, I went there and finally I had to open the box and tell the custom uh, officer uh, what's in there, show him what's in there and explain him uh, about the approximate value. And finally he was satisfied and I could uh, take the box along. But he also asked, why do you have so many locks sent to you? And I said, well, we are a little community, we are exchanging locks to get locks from all over the world uh, to play with them. And he said, what do you mean by play? What are you doing with those locks? And I said, and I said well, we are trying to open them without, a key, without using a key. <laughs> I think he was a little bit, how can I say, surprised or confused. But finally, I could take the, the box and, uh, yeah, I'm really satisfied with this uh, uh, outcome. <laughs> so, now let me open up the box and show you what's inside. So, we have a speed dial master padlock. And that's one, one of those uh, fancy locks that I always wanted to have. I've seen, of, I've seen one of those... Uh, when I met another um, picker here in Germany and I was um, so jealous that he had one of those cool locks and uh, yeah, I always wanted to have one of one of those and now I have one. I'm really happy. Um, I've not yet um, seriously play with, played with it because they warn you not to do uh, stupid things and I will uh, read the instruction manual and look at the video they mention not to do anything wrong, but you basically have to do something like one, two, three, four, and it opens. So you can choose your own combination, and yeah, then it opens. Really cool lock. Thank you, Robert. Great. So what else do we have? We have a um, small format interchangeable core. It's a seven pin lock. I've never had a seven pin lock before, so this is really great for me. And that's the operating key. Ah, and just look at the bidding. Cool bidding. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Really cool. Seven pin lock and strong springs. Very strong springs. So this will be fun to pick. And we have a big brass springs padlock. Very nice keys. I love these brass keys because in Germany we don't have, don't do not have so many brass keys. They're always um, coated with um, I don't know with what, but um, this color I, I like very much. Works very nice and smooth. So this will be uh, fun to pick. Thank you. And we have one without key. Um, I call it split lock because there is a, um, a space here in between, in the back and in the front. And yeah, really cool design. <laughs> I really like this. So this will be also fun to pick, even uh, because there is there is no key. And uh, yeah, I will see if I can open it up. So what else do we have? We have a Schlake kryptonite lock. 
very very cool looking padlock that's the bidding on the key very deep cut here at position 2 great bidding exchangeable core and operates not so oh, not so smooth but opens oh in the other side in the other direction it uh, operates very very smooth almost no resistance but when it reaches the point where you can remove and insert the key and turn it into the opening direction you have to apply a lot of pressure to open it so this will be will be fun to pick <laughs> okay i will look uh, inside and see what why it actually operates like that okay and then we have have an mdk never heard of that mdk brand made in china very smooth very strong spring this will also be fun to pick the bidding is not not too crazy here great thank you and what else do we have ah we have a very nice old master padlock with warded keys just look at those keys they are so sweet Great. Perfect condition. Very, very nice. And this is funny because I don't know why they did it like that. Um, it, it, looks, uh, it looks strange. Um, and it's also a weak point because here you can uh, just take the saw and uh, it's very easy to, to cut through the shackle. But yeah. If someone can tell me why they um, shape the shackle like that with this uh, groove here on the left and on the right side, please tell me. I mean, maybe it's just for a uh, cosmetic or, well, design reason that it looks nice. And yeah, I don't know, but uh, it looks nice. Overall uh, appearance of this lock is, is really nice. Master 66, Master Lock, Milwaukee made in USA very nice so what else do we have ah we have a very nice old Yale rim cylinder three to three no key doesn't matter very nice and when you look at the back you can see that the screws have been uh, heavily used so uh, many people might have opened this lock and if you look into the left chamber, don't know if you can see that. I think this is uh, something from an animal. Maybe a spider has created his uh, his net here. So if the custom office would have seen that, I would not have received the the box. I guess because maybe we have living animals here in this lock. <laughs> I will look inside the chamber when I open up the lock uh, in front of the camera, but not now. Now let's have a uh, further look what's inside the box. We have some goodies, we have, um, we have a little knife. It says Winchester on the knife. <laughs> this is great. It's a knife, a pocket knife, and we have uh, a file for the nails. And we have a little uh, scissor. Very nice. So thank you very much for that. That's cool. Winchester. And we have some coins. United States of America. Liberty. Beautiful. And one cent. Very nice. And last, there's a really big one. Oh, it's from 1971. 
in God we trust. Very nice. United States of America, one dollar. Cool. This is really nice. So, Robert, thank you very much for these goodies. I really liked it. <laughs> Great. And we have a oops, Ruger, Ruger gun lock. Um, and yeah, I've already looked inside the box. I've also um, read the instruction manual for this uh, Ruger um, gun lock. And yeah, you can read something of what you should do and what you not should do. And one sentence is, is really interesting. It says, uh, when uh, while locking devices are an important aid to security measures, they are not a uh, substitute for safe firearm handling and proper storage, remember that any mechanical device can be bypassed with enough time, knowledge, determination and equipment. So, let's have a look at this lock. First, check that it works with the key. It does. And now, let's see how much time we need with special equipment to open it. Apply tension with a simple tension wrench and use a rake. So we have equipment, we have knowledge, and we have whoops, five seconds of time needed in order to open it up. Alright, so that was the rubber gun lock. Maybe you should choose a different strategy to secure your uh, firearms. <laughs> okay, so the box is almost empty, but there is one item left. It's a little master combination padlock, three wheels, and I've played with my locks uh, a lot, and these are three wheels and uh, four wheels. Do I have them here? Maybe I can show it to you. Yeah, that's the three wheel uh, Abus uh, combination lock, and that's the four wheel Abus combination lock. So this one has only true gates, this one has false gates and true gates, and I can open them very quickly because they do give very good feedback. But that one is different. There is not so much diff not, not not so much feedback. And uh, he sent it to me without uh, uh, telling me the combination. And I thought it's a time, it's, it's a matter of a few seconds to open it, because it's master. But in fact, um, it's very hard. And I don't know why, why I finally um, got it open, but I know now that the combination is 2 to 6. That's what he has uh, chosen as combination for me. Um, yeah, I will continue playing with that lock to get a better feel for, for the feedback. So this is a really great toy for me because I can always take it along in my pocket and play with it, play with it when, when I have some uh, minutes time. Alright, that's it. Now the box is really empty, as you can see. And yeah, I have to say thank you very much, Robert, for these great trade items. I love all of them very much and I will have a lot of fun with them. So thanks again, Robert. Um, yeah, um, everybody else, uh, thank you very much for watching, happy picking, bye bye.